so that glorious day has arrived when we're going to actually make the fractal capacitor because now we've discussed what it is, we've had a look at how we draw it, and now we're going to give it a go making it. And it is a faff on, hey, so it's a bit fiddly, but probably worth it. I say probably because I don't really know. Anyway, we need to make chains of three diodes. Let me give you a close-up of the process. Okay, I think it helps if you think about it like this. We have a string of three diodes and to that we connect two capacitors. And those two capacitors connect at points one and three and two and four. Now it becomes fractal when we remove the capacitors, which are the connections here, put in another string of three diodes and connect two capacitors. Then we can remove the diodes again, connect. So each one of these lines represents a string of three diodes. The termination here represents the capacitor. It becomes fractal because we can keep on doing that, getting smaller and smaller and creating a fractal pattern. And we can continue down doing that, creating that pattern, going down and down and down, making a fractal. And that's why it's a fractal capacitor. Now I think this image helps visualise what it is we're actually doing. So remember I have a lot of diodes and I bought a thousand diodes for seven pounds so they're really really cheap and you take three of them and obviously you've got a little silver band and a black bit and all the silver bands point in the same direction so you need to make sure they're all pointing in the same direction then you twist them together like this and solder them there so we've got those two wires now what we have are four connection points here 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 and here for the sake of argument let's call that one two three four to make this, we're going to use four wires, and we're going to connect those wires up to the capacitors. So, in order to put 64 capacitors on our fractal net, what we need are 32 of these, because each one of these takes two capacitors. We solder the same wire in the same place all of the time, so now we know what we're doing, and here's an example of one that I've got ready. And you can see that what I'm calling position one is black, position two is blue, position 3 is red and position 4 is yellow and I need to solder them all the same way every time so the black will go there, the blue there, the red there, the yellow there and as long as I make 32 identical to that then at this end, once I've made those then I can solder the black and the red to one capacitor and the blue and the yellow to the other capacitor when I form my fractal net now we obviously need to build these out so what we're going to do is solder up another one and I'll show you then how those two join up okay so once we made two of those you can see that I've done them on the same sides there we go, black to the bottom yellow to the top and they're all the same we need to join those up to another string of diodes and here they are and those diodes are done in the same way as the first string black to the bottom black to the bottom and we solder these on one and three just like we did with the first capacitor then this gets soldered on on two and four so that we get that arrangement because it'd be annoying to have them that way because we've got uh, to stack them up even more so we need to do it that way around and we do it that way around Here's the first one soldered on. The second one would get soldered on three and four, and it would end up looking like that. And we do that because we're going to do another set. And on that other set, we're going to have another string of three diodes. Again, black to the bottom, and they get soldered on one and three and two and four. And we keep doing that, doubling them up. And there's a slight issue. These wires are bare, so we need to stuff something in there, like a bit of tape or plastic, to stop them hitting each other. Now let's solder them up again. Now just put some strips of plastic in there, just to separate those wires out, and we do exactly the same thing. There's our strip of three, we solder this black wire to junction one, if you like, this top wire to junction three, and then the next one gets junction two and junction four and we get that and again I'll put a strip of plastic in there to keep the wires separate and we'll build up for the next layer 
OK, we continue up, pairing them in the same way, across a string of three of diodes until we get to the last string. Now, on the last string, you'll notice there's the band there, there and there, pointing to the red, and the black is pointing to the bottom, and this is your negative connection and positive connection for the in and out. And now all we have to do is connect the last two bundles in the same way. So bundle one goes junction one and three, bundle two goes junction two and four. So what we end up with is this. Now, granted, it is perhaps not the most elegant way of doing it, but I think it helps visualise what we've actually done. We've taken that fractal pattern, we've taken the string of three diodes, and we've built it down and down and down to physically create something like this. Now, as I pointed out, that's your positive in and out, that's your negative in and out, and each one of these represents a pair of capacitors. So if you remember, the red and the black go to one capacitor and the blue and the yellow go to the other capacitor. Each one of those needs a capacitor on the end of it. Now, you can use an ordinary capacitor, but I of course want to make the capacitors so that I can then paint the capacitors. And so that is what you end up with, but you end up with it through that process. Now, as I said, this is just to help visualise. <laughs> If anybody points out to me it would be better to do this on a circuit board, it would be 100% better to do it on a PCB. But I do think you would miss how it's actually built if we just went straight to the PCB. So that's how it's actually built. I guess the next thing really to do would be get, get it pretty on a nice PCB. And then, of course, we can attach the capacitors either as we make it, or we can make the capacitors ourselves and attach them in those pairs. Anyway, I know it's a bit of a long-winded video on how to make a group of diodes, but it's really quite key to making a fractal capacitor. And a bit of a difficult idea to get your head around when you're first meeting it. I hope that helps get you the idea across of what that diode network looks like to support the fractal capacitor idea. Anyway, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video and please remember to like and subscribe.